Okay, welcome to your speaking test. Can you tell me your name and your age? Um, my name is Lekong Khaim, and this year I'm 16 years old. Good, let's begin. Oh. So let's talk about museums. Do you often visit a museum? Mm, in around like 2017 or something. Um, I usually always go to the museums with my family and friends. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I also go there with my classmates. But these days I feel like museums have gotten very boring and it has gone down. I, I've seen it too much and there's nothing else to see. So I rarely go there these days. Yeah. Do you think museums are important? I think that museums are very important because it holds like very like mem memorable things uh, from our history that have been kept till now. Um, but these days, like technology have has gotten better. Like people can just look at it on the internet. Uh, also, that um, uh, some people might still want to go there and. Uh, see like the, the things with their own eyes. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's suitable for museums to sell its souvenirs to visitors? Mm -hmm. I think I would agree on that because souvenirs are a thing that to keep visitors like uh, uh, keep their memory about the place and uh, Every time they look at it, they can think about the place again. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the souvenirs are like maybe too expensive or overpriced. Okay. Let's talk about trees. Is there a forest near your hometown? Mm, in my hometown, it's that um, There is like a whole place with a ton of trees where many ethnic people live. Mm -hmm. but like it's like a whole uh, a park, a giant park with a ton of trees and things like traditional games to do in there. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, that I don't think there are any. Mm -hmm. Have you ever planted a tree? Mm -hmm. When I was in Australia, yes, I actually did have some projects of gardening, like planting some plants or trees with my classmates at the back of the school and I, I've been back to Vietnam for like seven years so I think it has grown much bigger since then I really want to go back and see it Right, part two, one minute to make notes Describe an object that you think is beautiful ah. Okay, go for it. So, to me, um, I don't really like much things that, uh, like, uh, I'm not really fond of things that are colorful, but in those colors, I think I would love the most would be uh, black and blue. So, today I'll be describing a computer which I saw in the shops. Mm -hmm. It's a blue computer um, with, like, uh, the logo of the uh, the type of computer uh, it has a rectangular shape um, like I said earlier like I really like plain color um, I just think it looks beautiful because the blue was bright and if I want
painted anything more. I just add the sticker or paint it another color. Let's move on to part three. Do you think there are more beautiful things now than in the past? Um, I think definitely yes. Uh, since these days technology has definitely improved and uh, things have definitely like, changed. Maybe take the phone for example. In the past things are like small and um, not much like have don't have much gadgets like until now things that can just move around and do more things for human to for improving their lives okay what beautiful scenery spots are there in the country mm, i think in the country there are like uh, not too tall mountains but like uh, fancy farm yeah, yeah would definitely be one uh, so, like I said earlier, the like, the parkway trees, uh, that's it. Yeah. I would say that's also one. Mm -hmm. And maybe some, I think there are some cliffs, like which people can look for the sunsets. Mm -hmm. okay. Why do you think people create beautiful things? Mm -hmm. I guess it's a part of life, because beautiful things, like people like to look at things that are beautiful, it makes them have more power to live and move on uh, and if they really like art, they can keep up their passion and uh, try to do those things and go with the, the idea of those Okay, we'll do one more. Do, you, do people in your country prefer listening to music? or appreciating paintings and literature? Mm, I think from what I've experienced, uh, not like from my class and my family, not many people like to look at paintings, but like all of them really like to listen to music because there's a vibe in it that wants, makes them want to do something, mm. and it entertains them a lot when they're bored. And it's really, really like, um, chill and like very peaceful. Okay, we'll start there. Well done.